we're back with another Soul Lane play by play A to Z series. Today we got Anubis. He's up next in the alphabet. You do the math. I don't need to, but we got Anubis. We're using the Gravehound skin because that is his best skin, in my opinion. Actually, Anubis has some like some cool skins, but some of his skins are like they're actually so hard to use because your character model is so big and like the autos are bad and it just feels weird. Like you don't feel like you're playing Anubis, but anyway. Um we can save that for a skin tier this one day or something. I don't know. Um, but yeah, we're going to be playing Anubis today. Anubis solo, a classic, if I do say so myself. I mean, you know, it's classic when it comes to just having your teammates feed as Anubis solo, to be honest. You know, it's not really that good of a pick. But um, people, there's been some people playing Anubis lately in the in the ranked streets, especially in Grandmaster's rank. We got Snoopy playing Anubis mid, like, literally every game. He's been one-tricking it, and he's been, he's been popping off on it. So maybe Anubis' vi viability is actually... Uh, not too bad in this this current meta. I do think immobile characters got a lot better with the changes in 9.5, where everybody's just a little bit tankier because it's just a little bit harder to punish these characters that are, uh, you know, that are just a little bit more immobile. But also Anubis's passive is good in this meta as well because he steals protections, which is, I mean, Anubis's passive is probably one of the most broken passives in the entire game. But like, you know, it's definitely definitely better with the 9.5. Um, Got an Uller. I wonder what their team comp is. They're looking pretty strong. They are looking like Anubis killers, that's for sure. This enemy team comp, I'm not going to lie. Um, so as far as the build path goes, I didn't really think this through. Um, I don't really know what would be fun to go on Anubis to begin with. Like, he's kind of just a lifesteal character to begin with, right? So um, could maybe go an auto attack build. But, I mean, we are playing Anubis all at the end of the day. So maybe we'll just go a, a normal lifesteal build and see how, uh, see how well we can make it work. I'm just going to rush Bancrofts and... Uh, see what happens. I'll go beads. I don't really know what I'm up against. Probably gonna be Horus if I had to guess, or maybe Atlas. Maybe Horus Jungle, Uller Solo, Atlas Support. I don't know. But then where would Nem be? Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> Doesn't really matter. Does not really matter. Uh, I guess it matters a little bit because depending on who I'm up against, they could cancel my one on the first wave. So I think just because of that, I'll grab my three. If they can't cancel my one, that'll be a little bit unfortunate because I'm pretty sure the one still does full clear. But, you know, the three still does pretty good damage. Not that big of a deal. I was thinking about doing a weird start on Anubis and, like, proxying, but then I remembered that waves are super tanky right now. So the melees I would just I would just take forever to clear. So I'm up against an Atlas. That's not going to be a good matchup for him. Anubis is actually pretty good against Atlas. can immune, immune his two with my ult and my one. I can immune it. I can immune it. Should just be able to get pressure on him basically all game. It's gonna be hard for Atlas solo to clear. He did go tainted. I like to start, you know, assuming that I'm gonna be a uh, lifesteal Anubis. Maybe a waste of my one there just because the minions are coming. But by the time they actually are in line with the wave again, I'll be a, uh, I'll be one in it again. So it is gonna be a Nem jungle. Wait, what? What is going on with their comp? Uh oh, I'm not beating that. Oh my god, that tower shot. Maybe I should have beads that. Towers are OP. <laughs> 235 to me. Um, what was I talking about? I don't even know. Oh yeah, I was gonna talk about Atlas, dude. Atlas on this new patch is just... Uh-oh, I'm dead. That is cringe, bro. That is cringe. Oh, the Nem actually was pretty low. That's unfortunate. That uh, Nem gank us there. It's like the, the on her gameplay. From the last A to Z. Every time I try and talk about something, I get fucking ganked by the jungler. Just always there. Uh, but anyway, you know, not not a bad play for them to make, obviously. I'm a noob solo at the end of the day, so they should try and kill me, probably. But, um, yeah, Alice is just so much harder to play on this patch. It's so hard for him to actually clear waves. In solo, that is. I think he's still a good support. But, like, I just would feel miserable playing Atlas. Or any Guardian, for that matter. It's just hard to PvE, and, like, it's just sad, really. At least warriors are a little bit better now with like glad shield. Can I group up this wave? I can. Just gotta auto him. There we go. We'll grab a totem proxy. He's still struggling to clear this wave. And he had the priority on clearing it such for a long time. That death definitely does suck because it gives them first blood. The Nem did get the first blood though, so they're just gonna have to be worried about that in the jungle. But that just motivates me to try even harder this game to really punish this nemesis for level two ganking me. That's really all it comes down to. That mama mentality. <laughs> We're double teaming in open gyms. 
I see, I see. That's basically what it is, right? Oh, I didn't realize we were double teaming in casuals. I don't know why I was point saving there. I was like, maybe I can put an extra point in my ult and not put a point in my two, but why would I do that? Two's really good. All right, going back for this bank cross, and I'll be super strong. Still not level five, though. I did miss that wave whenever I got killed. So the XP deficit will be there. He's actually going to have a lot of magical prot to begin this game. He's about to TP back in with a Genji's or something like that. So 15 here and then 70 from his item. He's going to have 85 extra. I will not be able to burst him. Plus the extra health now, plus extra prots. Like, he's just going to be super tanky. I guess the bright the bright news is that, is that I uh, have my passive. Um, which does take his prot. So I'll make myself tankier. Dude, I only have 25 fist prot. That is squishy. He hasn't backed for that item yet, though. So if I can get my three back up here, I can maybe kill. That doesn't hit Totem very hard at all, does it? He's pretty low mana here. He's going to ult that. Let's see if this does kill. I hit every tick. I hit every tick of everything besides like the last two of my one and he doesn't die. Insane. That's what I was talking about though. He doesn't even have his item yet. Now imagine how hard it'll be to kill him once he gets that. That's pretty insane. That should be good. Especially if he does that. Congratulations. You played yourself. I was I was thinking he's gonna have to double dash this and if he goes under tower I can uh stun him. This guy just dash. Oh, uh, we could we could have killed him. He dashed in her face and he doesn't have any physical pro. And then he doesn't hold the freaking blue for what the heck man? Doesn't hold the blue for me, doesn't gank the Atlas, he just dashed in front of him. Unfortunate. All good though. Yeah, I was just thinking that the uh Nem's gonna probably double dash on me. If I can get under my tower and stunner, then I definitely have kill potential. Need to keep my distance here. Don't wanna get hit by his tainted, especially, but just don't want to play too far up. Oh, he actually didn't afford his full item. I'm going to throw this in back. These guys are going to go so much anti-heal. I can already feel it. If the Nem's already targeting me, she's going to build anti-heal. I need to get some wards for her. Hmm. Oh, so their horse is support. He just went Boombas. That's what I was wondering about earlier. He has Boombas and men. Interesting. I wonder what he's going to build from that Boombas. I actually don't completely hate this. Support's in a really bad spot right now. It's probably the worst it's ever been, honestly. And, like, it feels so bad for them because they just had the little Jimmy boy that gave them the little obelisk that killed everything around them, and it was super nice. It felt really good to be a support. Now it's freaking trebuchets in the game, which really isn't even a support thing. And then, like, <laughs> I don't know. Now they're just in a pretty bad spot because they fall off really hard, don't really do anything late game, apart from maybe initiate fights and just insta-die. <laughs> Maybe peel for their teammates depending on what character they are. I need to get these wards out. There's one. I guess he could gank me from the blue buff, but I'm probably just gonna place one right here as well. Some decent wards for ganks. He could still get past those and just blink on me and probably get me, but ideally I get like a ward up here and like up here or something for the, that type of gank. He thought I was talking about somebody being there or something. Auto this down, go meet with my Paleon Blue. I'm gonna point save for an extra point and three and ult, but uh, I am gonna max my two second. I think a lot of people make the mistake of maxing their one after their two or after their three. You don't need to do that. It only goes up in 15 damage per tick when you put points into it, and most of its damage is a scaling from having power. So as long as you're going power, don't put points in your ult or in your one rather. Just put points in your two because that actually increases the stun duration. It goes up to two seconds, which is really good. Didn't quite hit the archers there, but I can clear that with my one. Because look, I don't even have extra points in my one, and look, it full clears archers, so... Not really a whole point of doing it. It can get interrupted, they walk out of it, like... Just put points in the two. Uh, that atlas is just kind of making a journey over to the mid lane here. We'll just try and push this as fast as possible, get the point in our three and our ult. Try and do this to him as well. So even though I do think they're going to go anti heal, I am just going to commit and go the the Typhons. Haley's backing instead of doing these smalls, so I'll just go do them real quick. Surprised she didn't do these. It's really important to just get these on cooldown whenever you can. Like, she should have done these. 
40 gold each, 51 okay. XP each, and they're only in like a minute 30 seconds, right? I actually don't know exactly what they are anymore, but... When when I get Typhons, I actually might be able to all in him and kill him if I full combo him with 2-3 ult. Because the Typhons will give me a bit of percent pen. So you end up going Shoguns. That's probably, I actually kind of like that because it gives you some auto attacks so you can actually clear the wave. Which, like I said, it's very hard to do right now as any Guardian. Especially Atlas. But that also does make him squishier to me. A little less uh, magical prot and I guess the same amount of health these days. Nem's in mid. I was a little bit afraid about her being here, but she's in mid. We'll back for our Typhons now. Or not. I'll just roll on him because he tried to kill me or stop my back. A little damage test. He's still, like I said, pretty unkillable. Just a little bit too tanky at this point. If I had Typhons, maybe. That was gonna that would have been a lot of extra power and you know, obviously that percent pen, so maybe, but. Screw that and go to our blue. I didn't actually see where Nem went from the mid, so she could be over here, which would be quite sad. It was good for that Atlas to stop my back, don't get me wrong. In fact, it's pretty much always good to stop someone's back in lane. That can just be frustrating for the person who's trying to back, you know? But, you know, you should just play better and walk back further so they can't stop your back without, like, giving something up, like... You know, like these three minions or like lane pressure or whatever, whatever it may be. Should be able to get back in time for this wave. See, if he was a better character, he would already have this wave under tower. But since it takes so long for him to actually clear, I'm about to get all six minions. See, look at that. All six minions. That's just because he can't shove fast enough. Oh, 600 gold as well. I'll let him have that totem. That's all good. My ult's coming back up, so we might be able to kill. Is an M here? I'm unfortunate, just out of range. That is my stun down for a while. Nem's actually in left, so we can play aggro here. Stun's back up in five. Let's see if he gets frisky. Help! Should just be a kill. I did use my beads and ult for that, so that's not that great, but I just misplayed a little bit by actually getting grabbed by him. Would have been fine if I just got pulled, but not actually grabbed, you know? That's still good. Still good for us to kill him. Plus, Nem wasn't in around at all because we saw her on the map, so... Not an immediate threat. Should I watch? The question is, should I go blink second? I... <laughs> this team comp already blows me up really hard. So if I go blink and blink in, they're just gonna end up one-shotting me, probably. All right, Nem's over here. Still no anti-heal on her. Got to be a little bit careful getting right now because I haven't got my wards out. I probably should have done that just now, but it looks like she was on the Sharpie, actually, so... Got to be careful. I can easily kill her on the gank if uh, my ult is up, but... To be fair, Nem's shield is pretty good against Anubis ult. Or Anubis in general. See, that one damage is pretty strong with no points in it. I wonder if I just commit to full lifesteal and go raw to basically PS for fun. Could be a funny build. Now it's actually coming back up, and he doesn't have any like extra magical prots now. He's ulting just to clear the wave. The struggle. The struggle. I am just gonna end up going blink probably. Just fun. This is where mobile mages and characters like this are just a lot worse than like full tanks because just by walking in that jungle with my beads down it is the nem is just she can just easily kill me so because i have no wards and if she's just there i'm just dead if she is get those back camps on cooldown while they fight and left go back and catch my wave just gonna one this for a little bit and then three at all i would like to back for my blink and perhaps another item but they're just fighting over there and atlas is on his way I'll be late to this, but I can maybe clean up. Try to call it as much as I can as VGS, you know. <laughs> oh, that's too bad. He hit me with the tainted. Oh, pull him. Tank for me. 
Oh, he turned around. Oh, he turned around and almost got him killed. I hit the auto on him and everything, but wasn't enough. That was a bad swing for us, but at least we'll be able to steal their back camp because Nem was in left. Try and punish her for being over there for a while. Maybe this blue is actually spawning. That could be nice too. Actually, looking back, I would have killed that Atlas if I hit all of my ticks of my ult. I missed a couple of them when I first started ulting him. Unfortunate. This guy TP back in just now, I think, with a full mystical, and he went onk as well. I told you they're going to get anti-heal. I mean, we do have a Sylvanas as well, and a Pele, to be fair. Doesn't it always seem like whenever you pick like a healing character, you have other people picking healing on your, your team, so they're just always going to build a ton of anti-heal? Always feels that way for me. I think what I'm going to end up going here is just Rod. Rod's actually really good on Anubis. So when you're like bursting people down, that extra damage you get from the passive will just help you get that kill in the end. Grab another ward and we'll get blink, like I said. That might end up coming back to, to bite us in the butt, but I'm just going to rotate here. I have my blue buff. I'm level 15. I have a rod. I'm going to try and go kill somebody. Got to make something happen, you know? On my way. I'll gank. This, I, this horse is actually not too hard for me to kill. And I also already have 20% pen as well because of these two items. They just dash to somebody. We can fight them. Let's freaking get in there, guys. This guy doesn't have beads. Oh, what a wasted ult. I didn't think the auto was going to kill, but it did. We can kill these guys. Beads, act, or beads Agus on that guy. That's this guy's onk. He's ulting me. I'm just going to back up. Looks like they're still farming this Horus. He's 1 HP. Can I get him? Is he going towards the tower? He was. Nice. Scotty Dog got him anyway, but... Oh, this guy's out of mana. Attack. I'm forcing active left and right. Uller actives. We got the freaking uh, Nem actives and killed her. Or at least got her, I guess. We just stay together here. We keep healing. Got the stun on him and the three. He's going to be pretty low. See, I do a lot of damage. Look at that rod passive kicking in. We might be able to do gold here. Oh, no, they have oracles. Cancel that. We do not want to be doing... Oh, we're pulling it? Okay. We shouldn't... This thing is way too hard to do. Retreat. They have oracles. It's just not worth. This is going to take too long. They're all five up. They have oracles. This guy TP right back in already? He does have persistent teleport, to be fair. I'm just going to die here, but my team should be able to clean up. That was a pretty bad die by them. I again miss some of my ults. Need to actually focus up and hit scan these people like I can. That's just good to kill me up by a team. They really three man dove that. I'm surprised they ult Horus ults it into me. Oh my god, the Sylvanas pull. That was sick. Nice job, team. Surprised they Horus ulted under my, my mid tower. If I actually hit the a little bit of my three on the Uller there and just hit all of my ult ticks, then you just would have gotten one shot. That prop shred coming in handy, like I said. Your left tower is under attack. What starter item upgrade would we even want to go? I guess Archmage is its gem at the end of the day. What if I went Tainted? They have a little bit of healing. I could go Tainted Amulet and then go out of Asclepius and I would just be healing. I'm going to do it. So I'm healing from everything more. This Tainted Amulet will be, be increased healing. My Lifesteal will be increased healing. Maybe I go, okay, I'll go Tainted, Rod of Asclepius, Soul Gem. So everything's just healing more. Even though if they get enough anti-heal, I won't even heal at all. Contagion, Ong. We're only at 4k after all this, so it's still a pretty close game. So 4k at 17 minutes is really nothing to write home to thy mother about. I'm gonna go push this wave. It's pretty big. I wanna get credit for it. When I say big, I mean like three inches at least, you know what I mean? I'm gonna go clear Sharpie. I wish you could get tainted upgrades at level 17. I think that'd be a really nice buff for it. Another idea I had is make it so if somebody is a healing character, they use a healing ability, let's say Hell 3 or Afro 3 near you, and you have tainted on them. You take like half of the mana from that uh that ability. So say it costs 70 mana to use Hell 3, then you uh you'll heal or you'll get like 35 mana back whenever they use it and you have tainted on them. I think that'd be kinda nice because part of the reason tainted is really hard to build is because uh it doesn't give you any mana sustain as well. 
We could actually probably do real fire soon. I mean, I shred it, and we have our ADC here. He is not a crit hunter exactly, so I guess it's not that easy to do. We could just play it safe and do that. So yeah, I'm just committing to this build. Tainted Soul Gem Rod. The double rod, in fact. Because I'm going to have Rod of Tutti and Rod of Asclepius. We can just get this tower. We don't need to try and go on this guy. Oh, I got his dash, I think. When you get the dash, you kind of got to commit, you know? The They're on gold that whole time. We can actually probably go fire here. Kronos is in left. We got to be careful of a horse ult coming in. So that might be our downfall, but we could try and do it. I don't have my ult anymore, but it's still pretty good. Pretty good. Uh, freaking burn. We got it going. We do have Kukul for secure. Yeah, this should just be free. Oh, no. Oh, that was so close. Nice. That Cuckoo didn't ult. That was greedy by Omar coming, yo. <laughs> Very greedy. Maybe he didn't hear this horse hold or something. Or maybe he's just that greedy. It's alright, I've been there. Get this little guy. So we get our... Ooh, we got our freaking trebuchet. Can't believe the Pele is still top damage. He's actually farming, I guess. Oh, I can maybe kill this guy. I wouldn't peek that corner. Oh my god! <laughs> maybe is a uh, was the operative word there, but he didn't have beads, I guess. So it went from a maybe to I definitely can. I'm gonna push this wave and then back. We can push with our Chebuchet, right? Probably smart to do that. Nobody go on me, please. I really want to get my items. All right, nice. Let's back it up here. Got the amulet online. Let's go right of Asclepius next. We may not even get to that part of the build just because it looks like we might win the game off this push. Actually, I take that back. Why did I say? I mean, we're only up 6k, but the thing about this new patch is like at first everyone thought it was harder to snowball and like everyone was like, oh, it's so hard to kill each other, yada, yada, yada. Now that we play on this patch and the towers got nerfed for whatever reason going into this patch, it's really not that hard anymore. It's basically back to what it was. It's pretty easy to snowball again. I'm not like if you guys like down in the comments, I'm pretty sure some of you guys are probably thinking, yeah, like a lot of my games actually are going late. Yeah, I, I mean, that's true, and it's, it's, it probably is the case. But I think it's just you're probably playing with a lot of people that haven't played too much on this patch, like Grandmaster's level, or people have been playing on this patch for a while. This is beads. What was I saying? I've been onked. I am not healing, that's for sure, but I'm doing a lot of damage. Right into my cuckoo. Oh, we missed everything. Once people play more and more in the patch, especially on these patches that are making it easier with like the items that they're adding and everything. Right, no way. I actually didn't even freaking I didn't believe I couldn't believe his jump was back up, but I guess that's just Uller cooldown for you. I can't believe my ult reached him as well. Can maybe go in here. Ooh. Ideally you three and then two gives you a little bit more efficiency on your three ticks and everything. Kinda like Agni twoing and then stunning. But um Sometimes it's just not possible. This guy has no beads. Why are we still here? Just to suffer. <laughs> we weaved in the, the stun from back there, barely. Surprised we actually hit it. I'm sorry, it's Cobra. I really am. This Nem never went beads, by the way. She just went Aegis, so. Careful. Just, maybe we will be able to get to our full build. Mostly to defend this here and we just kill him. Oh, huge Sylvanas ult. Oh, well, he didn't dash again. I wish they had a little bit more healing. Maybe the Tainted Amy didn't get as much value this game, but... Oh, poor guy. I wanted to go help him right away, but the horse was juicy.
or assault. You just go left now. Take this door. Hold the door. I think Anubis actually was my first ever rank 10, by the way, guys. It was either Anubis or Apollo. Oh, GG. Unfortunate. Didn't get to the full rod of healing. We got this rod, though. Um, Yeah, I think I think Anubis might have been one of my first rank 10s. He was either the, my first or second, and then Apollo would have been the first if it wasn't Anubis. But, yeah, I mean, he just got a, got a fun, clean kit, and he's one of the more... Not more, but I think he... Was he one of the original characters? He's definitely an old, old character. He's been in the game for a long time. At least ever since I've been playing. But, um... But, yeah, GG. That was a fun one. Anubis Solo. It didn't feed this time around. I do not condone you guys going and playing Anubis Solo in your ranked games and then having everybody come to my DMs or my comments saying, Why did you Why did you play Anubis Solo? Now everybody's playing it and they're feeding in my games. Fuck you guys. How about that? Okay. <laughs> Just kidding. Uh, but I hope you guys enjoyed the game. Who do we have up next? That was Anubis. Al Kwong. Ooh, Al Kwong's pretty fun. Al Kwong Solo. That's, that's not too bad. That should be a fun one. Maybe we'll go Boombas on him this time around since we didn't go Boombas on these two characters. And Boombas out is actually pretty fun. Um, yeah, we'll probably do that. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the gameplay. That was Anubis Solo for you guys. Um, let me know what you guys want to see on Al Kwong or anything you want to see in these ADZ games in the future. If you want me to talk about something specifically, like I could talk all day about certain things like um, how to play like early games or like, you know, um, like how to efficiently farm and stuff like that. You know, I could just ramble about that things during the A to Z videos if you guys would like that. So just let me know in the comments. And uh, yeah, stay safe and healthy as always. I'll see you guys in the next one for Al Kwong. Peace out, guys. Bye-bye.